Hey everyone and thanks for joining me back here on the Navitas CP channel. Today I want to introduce you guys to a solution that we created uh, for you. Basically you guys were asking us for a neater, simpler solution to the rotary isolator problem that you guys are facing on PV installations. For those that might not be quite aware of it just yet, uh, you will be obviously as the world continues to go down this route. So let me just explain. Imagine you've just completed the best rewire of your life. Okay, it's fantastic. Everything's looped in perfectly, everything tests perfectly, your RCBOs are in neatly, your surge protection's in neatly, bang. Your heat pumps in. The client's even asking you about EV chargers and future proofing uh, for battery storage on, on the EV charging route through your car, etc. It's all great. You're thinking, this is a client, I've nailed it. Then you go to look at the board, okay? You isolate at the incomer, here. And the board is still live. Why? Because that PV inverter is still functioning and these RCBOs do not stop backfeed, okay? You also can't lock them off. Okay, you can't keep them permanently locked off like you can do an isolator. So they, are, they don't operate in the same way. And this is what happens sometimes, people f confuse protection for isolation. The two aren't actually the same. Okay, so traditionally you would have to keep an isolator adjacent to the installation, okay? And usually you would find it to the left or right underneath, above. You've probably seen them, banks of isolators, okay, on the installation, all on the AC side of the distribution, or isolating whether it be the heat pump, the PV inverter, or whatever, okay? And why is this? Well, let's say for example, you do need to isolate the PV inverter, or you need to isolate the heat pump. You can simply do this by making sure it's completely disconnected. No back feed, no, nothing else happening. No interruption to the existing consume unit and therefore the rest of the house. Great if you've got maintenance requirements, service engineers turning up and everything else, okay? So why are these DIN rail mounted? Well, as you can see here, it's not buzz bar fed, it's completely conductor fed, okay? So it works exactly the same as your standard AC isolator does already. The main difference is within the installation, okay? It's kept within the enclosure. And those of you that use our Navitas consumers already will know that if you remove the pip out the front, you can replace that with a barrel lock and that installation is actually now lockable okay and tamper proof that's fantastic i mean when i say lockable it's a universal key so don't worry guys you ever lose one we've got about five thousand on the shelf at any given time okay you always get two with every lock as well so you can give one to the client keep one back should you need so completely lockable should you require it again great for safe isolation on situations where you've got current flow all over the shop isolation is key okay so what a bs7671 say about it so there's four main points that BS7671 brings up. The first one is 712.537.2.1.1. Isolation must disconnect all live conductors in PV systems. The other one that notes is regulation 537.2.2.5. Isolation must be adjacent to the equipment and accessible. That's obviously meaning it's gotta be nice and close. You don't want the isolator miles away from the consumer unit for obvious reasons. Regulation 464.1, every circuit must be capable of isolation. 514.1.1, all devices must be clearly identified. So here's the real world use of it. Most people will fit one, sometimes two. Mainly the one is fed on the PV uh, installation, okay, which you're gonna have to do anyway. But that is mainly to stop that back feed, to stop any current coming back through on the buzz bar that you don't want to be there at that time. Others will then also put another one in that consume unit for the heat pump so they can isolate that heat pump entirely. And we've just done a massive project full of future proofing EV chargers on certain domestic dwellings where they've had three of these in every single consume unit. One for the inverter, one for the heat pump, and one to future proof the EV system as well. Okay, so DIN rail mounted, very, very easy, less fuss, no trunking, no external enclosures, all within your Navitas consume unit. If you've got any questions whatsoever, or you'd like to know more about this, or the other uh, solutions that we're coming out with for solar, please, as always, just get in the comments, or jump in our DMs, or send us a voice voice note. You can send us a voice note, I suppose, it'd be nice to hear from you, or you can just send us an email, or give us a call, is what I meant to say. All right, uh, these are available now, and have been for a little while, from all of our distributors, and obviously from our website, navitascp.co.uk. And if you've got any questions, like I said before, just give us a shout. And until next time, guys, take care.